This is your Solana Daily Debrief. It's the 22nd of July. Let's dive in. Solana's at $180. And this is probably the most important thing, of course, because if we have a look way back in April, we were at 200 So that's kind of where we need to get through in the meantime or in the short term. And then we've got our all-time high at 260 So then we have to go through that. Now, if we have a look over the last seven days, we jumped up really nicely just from, say, Friday, where we're like 158 or so, and then up we bounce. We went all as high as 184. The other cryptos are doing fine. Bitcoin's doing pretty good. And ETH's doing okay. And then Dog with Hat looks like it's pumped ahead considerably. I'm still far more bullish on Bonk, to be honest. Just even though, you know, Whiff is doing really, really well, I'm still thinking that Bonk is going to outperform. One thing you have to keep in mind is if you go and stake your Bonk, you're earning like 20% or something like that per year, just from the fees and whatnot that get pushed back into Bonk rewards. So you will get more Bonk tokens. And I just think it's going to do better. But either way, Whiff has gone up. So congrats there. Now on to Bitcoin news. Bitcoin, we quickly follow this because it tends to lead other things. Balance has changed to the laser coin meme eyes, which I'm not a fan of, but it's a meme. It's fine. I suspect a pullback comes from horizontal resistance around 71k after everyone sidelined has successfully FOMO'd back in. That's his take. We won't go over it any further. Here, however, this is interesting. Basically, exchanges will put on, you know, different shorts and different longs uh, higher up, I guess, in, in certain ways. And they're just spoofing things. They're just trying to make it look like there's more demand. In the end, they end up removing uh, a whole lot of pretend uh, shorts. And that lets the price go up further. So there's always going to be manipulation. Now, the crazy news is this came out yesterday. So Joe Biden is not going to be going for this, the second term of presidency. Read if you like, but all we're really interested in is just crypto and how the markets react. So Polymarket is uh, something pretty decent if you want to actually use it to put on a, a bet. Camilla's now been added, I guess, to the race, which like all of this was obvious. It was obvious, but that's fine. But uh, we've got a rating here. So you can go and bid on one, bid on the other one to see who's going to do well. And uh, Tolly says this, without Polymarket, there's a chance that the BS polls um, would have buried the truth. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what truth has been referred to here. But essentially, if you use all these media polls, you have no idea really like what people's odds are because they can just be so swayed in terms of that media outlet's bias. But if you just follow betting markets, it has a lot of product market fit. Now, the whole laser icing, it's taking over a few things. Elon's jet land in Tennessee, where there will be a Bitcoin conference next week. And Trump will be speaking. Maybe Elon's going to rock up there as well. Here's Elon here with his uh, laser eyes. So could be could be interesting. If you don't know what these laser eyes are, it's just a viral Twitter meme that Bitcoin has used when they try to push the value of Bitcoin past its highest price or just try and base. I don't know. Just try and get Bitcoin into everyone's mind. Now, the ETH ETF is incoming and the excitement is palpable. This is what Invest Answer says. Yet Sol outperforms Ethereum by 21% in July so far. And I expect it to continue. There's just so much stuff that we can do over here. Cold blooded Schiller says green light for bonk. And my researcher did this, then didn't tell me he was doing it. So, why, you know, what a genius way to share alpha. This is kind of zoomed out, of course, but he traded a very specific range and he's done very very well just by buying because it's been going up going up in this very specific range so it kind of goes up down up down up down so if you have some charting skills and some technical analysis skills you may want to jump into that as well otherwise i might just ask him for his trading view like sheet or whatever and, and i'll see what he's doing on it of course these things can change but thus far you, you know you can see this very specific range just if you kind of buy here and then sell here and then buy and then sell, buy and sell, it, it just goes on this really nice range. Like all these ranges here, they haven't been as pretty. And of course, you know, if we go down again, then it's not going to be as pretty. But at present, depending on how long this goes for, it's good. Now, Infinex, let's talk about this. This is, we don't have too many days left. We have it until the 30th of July. But Infinex is something that I'm incredibly bullish on. Incredibly bullish. And uh, I go over it here, but essentially, crypto is too difficult for people. People want exposure, so they go and buy stuff on centralized exchanges. If they move it to a wallet, then that's kind of like step 10, right? To actually put into your soul flare and start navigating the world. Of course, if you do that, you're going to outperform the market 
provide you're not scammed, hacked, whatever. So what they're aiming to do is you're basically trying to put crypto into it and then you can move into things just by kind of clicking and will interact with the smart contract. You know, oh, I want a loan. Okay, jump into Aave or jump into Camino or what have you. I want to do a swap. Okay, we'll just do it in Jupe. And it'll be in a system where it's just far more safer and it's far, far better. They're working on the UX layer. Watch this video, seriously watch this video and get into Crate Run. I'm gonna be honest though, you do need a little bit of capital to make it worthwhile. I'm still answering questions on how it's how it's done. Essentially, you win things like these and these boost the chance of you getting more things. If we have a look at this, this goes over, you know, everything in terms of the TVL. Um, but specifically what I'm after is the total number of crates, 5 million, that many have been opened and this many are still yet to be opened. And look, I mean, some of these users, 47,000 crates. Oh, it's good to be wealthy, isn't it? The amount of money you need right now to get one crate per day is 9,000 USD worth of staked value. So I'm going to show you here. So this is my referral. So appreciate people using the referral. I don't get any of this or anything like that. So don't, um, don't think anything like that. Basically, I can still only withdraw my actual amount in crypto. However, by getting referral boosts, my staked amount increases and then I get more of these faster. So I'm going to open them for you right now so everyone can see what they look like. And then we'll go over a little bit more on Infinix. Infinix is something that I'm, oh goodness, I'm bullish on. I'm properly bullish on it. Kane from Synthetics, if you don't know who he is, he's a legend and um, yeah, he's a smart guy. Properly smart. You know, one of the smartest in the world on this sort of thing for sure. So we open this up and it shows us what we've won. This is kind of rubbish, but it's fine. So we're supposed to have a 50% win rate, apparently, and $500 boost, which meant that three of the things had nothing in it, and this one had one. So then we just come here and we stake this. But obviously what we're after, ideally, is maybe a patron pass, a patron NFT. These are really, really rare. Um, and in addition to that, you can also just, like, you can win a crate that has tokens in it. So... I think there was 200 soul ready to go. I think someone won that, but you can, there was like 32 ETH. There's 450 million bonk. So you could just be fortunate enough just to win that. Now I did get something wrong in my video. I'll just point that out here. I said that um, if you deposit bonk, then you're eligible to win the bonk. If you deposit soul, you're eligible to, to win the soul. If you just deposit crypto, you're eligible to win any of the prizes. Next bit of news is Greed Academy. So Greed Academy, we've had some history with this on the channel and Put this on your radar you may want to go and actually lock up some tokens there now you have the choice of course because they have lessons coming soon and the funds that they have if you do the lessons you get a boost so a lot of people that like a lot of the whales that have locked up soul they're not going to do the lessons it's going to take them too much time the lessons that are coming soon they're going to teach you how to navigate the space in a, in a nice easy way so put in some soul if you can lock it up and then lessons you don't have a lot of time to actually get into this. It said a couple of days ago, um, 10 days left. And now this is three days left. So we have one week. So up to you. I'm going to put in some. But of course, the vast majority of my soul is always going to validate.com. Next bit of news, dupe and claiming your dupe from different wallets. I still have wallets. I still have to check. They just have confusing private keys. So you remember that this was launched quite some time ago, 31st of dupe January. The starting price was 40 cents. And now it's about a dollar. I have this video here on um, airdrop.link and talks. It shows you how to do every single thing, every single thing. And it's absolutely brilliant. It's brilliant. It's beautiful, if I may say so myself. But it truly is the best airdrop checking tool ever. So go use this. Check all of your wallets. Check every single wallet. And if you've got any dupe, go and claim it. Next bit of news is from Meow. And these are the five things that he's kind of putting attention on. He's a connected person, he's a very smart person, and I think that whatever he puts his attention on will be successful. So I'm gonna, I'm keen to copy some of these ideas or just stay up to date with what they are. So these are what they are. One thing that I'm just not entirely sure of is like PPP, player pump player, but this is a narrative he wants to form and this could work. Next bit of news is JLP. Remember, I've talked about JLP. I'm not sure if I have a specific video on it. I may do. It's essentially a token that has USDC, USDT, ETH, BTC, and SOL, and it generates fees from the Jupiter Perps exchange. It has been outperforming SOL year to date. So I don't think it's going to be like this forever, but if you want some sort of ETH and BTC kind of index fund almost, then a bit of JLP is genius. Just putting this very briefly onto your radar, Pathfinders, 
they have an LST and they're creating a mint. It's going to be an unruggable mint because you can always claim the LST back or something like that. It's something that I'm not in any way excited for yet. I mean, I can change my, my mind, of course, but mostly it's just uh, it's a new way of doing something. And if this interests you, you may want to look into it. Next bit of news is the Vault on Solana. If you have a Vaulty patch just by having VSO, then you can go and claim your Vault points. Next news, Uproc. So this here, we were waiting on an update in Discord, but essentially we could be earning some DATS token as well from an, a different um, project. Uh, this is all the information here, but we have to complete an in-app survey by July 24th. So check your phone if you're using Uproc, and then and then you've got all these different things in order to actually get a, a decent allocation of DATS. I don't know what these DATS tokens are worth. We'll find that out maybe tomorrow if they have actually released them. This here is the next bit of news and I'm just including it just for those people that have normie friends and they've got iPhones. Probably the last time I'm going to include it because I don't think it has a crazy amount of product market fit for my audience. And that is moonshot.money. You can jump in with Apple Fee, with Apple Pay and whatnot, and then you can refer people and then you can make rewards based on them. So if people want to jump into crypto, but they want a, a Web2 experience and they, they just want the meme coins, bam. This certainly has product market fit, just not necessarily with what I'm talking about. Now, tokens, meme coin tokens. If you're going all in on these political meme coins, um, then maybe it's going to work out for you or maybe it will not. Joe, Bo Joe Bowden, Geo Bowden did not work out well for the people that held it. It absolutely tanked hard on the fact that he left the race. And basically, Trump went, went up and it went up a decent amount, but nothing crazy, right? 45 cents to 53 cents. Whereas uh, this just lost, it just lost its value. And we know what's crazy? This, rich people can be incredibly stupid. This trader had $8 million worth of dupe, swapped it for Bowdoin at the top of Bowdoin, and then he's been selling it since, and he's sold 12 and a half K, and now his 8 million is worth about $85,000. So, oh my goodness, that would hurt. I don't know why someone would take that kind of crazy risk on this. I hope the person has a whole lot of money, but that is absolutely devastating. Now, Breakpoint. I'll be going to Breakpoint. I'm very keen for Breakpoint. Breakpoint is going to be absolutely amazing this year. And then next year, it's going to be even better because I think it's going to be, you know, properly into the cycle. But this one is still worth actually getting to. I'm hoping to cover quite a decent amount of content and then have, you know, everything kind of understandable so people can know what the side events are and stuff like that. We'll add stuff to what's already done by the foundation and many other communities. So go and grab your ticket now. Tickets. $500, go grab a ticket, or if you're dev, 250 artist and student, and it's going to be fairly expensive, to be honest, actually in Singapore. So I'm going to cover another video of where I go through different, different options, essentially. And then I'll cover another video of like just an overview of Singapore. I've only been there a couple of times, so I'm going to contact some locals and then get, you know, hotspots and, and whatnot. If you do want to go, Crypto Lumi is actually selling his uh, ticket for $250. You can go and ping him. Uh, I'm unsure exactly how it's all going to be done. I'm not going to middleman it or anything like that. But just letting you know that there's one person there that unfortunately can't make it. He's going to sell his ticket for half of the normal price. Now your actionables. So wait, potentially, to claim your full cloud allocation or claim it now, today if you want to. Check out the Cloud INS Media LP on Camino. I'm in it and I like it. Basically, cloud has gone from 29 cents to 31 cents in that in the last few days. Uh, however, Sol has gone up in value, so you may have some more cloud. Turn on notifications for Camino's update on PYUSD Borrow, just because I think it's going to be worth it, and I don't want people to miss it. Watch the Meteor's LP Army Bootcamp. They're on YouTube. I'll link them below. And watch my video on claiming airdrops with airdrop.link. Please, 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 you don't have a lot of time before you're going to lose your dupe allocation, and there's probably... The number of people that actually watched it, there's probably more than 1,000 people that have claimable dupe as just my prediction. Also watch my Infinex video, sign up, use my referral, and you need to put in a decent amount of capital, a couple thousand dollars in order to get one crate. But if you want one crate a day, it's $9,000 at present rates. Airdrop actionables. Infinex crate, as I just mentioned. Aim to get 20 to 30k points on Dbridge. And then, as I mentioned as well, the Cloud9F the Meteor LP, you're earning Met points. Met points, really, really valuable. Bonk rewards, remember to stake some bonk there. And if you held VSOL, or if you hold VSOL, claim your vault points. 
Finally, with Uprock, wait for an app update from Uprock, and then you can farm the Dats airdrop. Unsure exactly everything that's involved there, but I should know tomorrow. That's all for today. If you liked it, like it. And if you loved it, subscribe. Catch you tomorrow.